Hey YouTube, I'm going to do a little experiment with passive solar. I bought some of this foil backed styrofoam. Um, I already cut my pieces out. I got a piece of plexiglass and it's a two foot by four foot so I'm going to make my box here two foot by so that piece of plexiglass will fit right on top so I've already cut everything I bought some screen which I'm going to use for my absorber and I'm going to I bought some uh, foil tape I'm going to use that to just try to tape everything together. I wanted to make this easy because I'm just doing this as an experiment. And then I might build a, if it works, I might build one, a, a one that's a permanent one. This foil that's on this styrofoam here so it says it's combustible I think it's just the glue because I took a lighter to it and it did it did light up but it goes out it flamed up so in a lot of these projects they have fans hooked to them but I'm not going to hook a fan to this one. Maybe just to experiment a little bit to see if it really works. This is just an experiment, so I'll take you along as I build this thing. I wanted to be able to build one real quick, so I use this foil back styrofoam. Okay, let's get started. What I did here is I cut three inch sides. And those will go around the whole box. This piece, this is the back. This will be the back. I'm going to have the foil facing. It'll be inside the box. And I cut this 23 inches wide by 47 inches long. And that's because this is half inch thick styrofoam. So once you put the sides on then it'll be two foot by four foot so that piece of plexiglass fits right on top this is just fiberglass the charcoal colored fiberglass screen that you can get at Home Depot Menards or Lowe's I already cut some strips one inch wide I cut a bunch of them and these are gonna go right along the side here like this I'm just going to use this foil tape to tape everything together and my screen will be I, I put two of these together and just foil taped them together so that'll be an inch from the back and my screens gonna go tape I'm gonna tape it on top of this and then I'm going to cut a hole right here at the bottom and a hole at the top. So the natural cool air will come in and then the hot air will rise and flow out the top, hopefully. I'll probably stick a fan on here just to see just to see how it works for an experiment but I don't want to leave that unattended with this you know the only problem I see with having electrical components is it could ignite that glue if it shorted out but this is just an experiment okay here's what I've got done so far I got my one inch of styrofoam to put my screen on all around the whole edge I just kind of taped it on randomly to get it lined up and get everything so it fits 
Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and put that tape on all these edges because that's where the, if I hold a lighter to it, that's where it would flame up. So I'll do that now. Okay, I'm going along. I'm getting all the inside exposed styrofoam edges. The top works best just to get it right, put this foil tape right on the edge and then just push it down. It don't have to be perfect. I'm just trying to encase the whole thing with this foil tape. Okay, I got all the edges taped up. It's pretty easy. This foil tape sticks really good and it makes it easy. It's easy to work with. I held a lighter around all the edges. I couldn't get it to flame up now that everything is encased. So I think we'll be okay there. The back, I don't know what the material is on the back, but I did I held a lighter to that too on a separate piece. And it lights up. I can get it to flame up, but it goes right out once I take the flame off. So That's what that is. I got that. Now I'm going to, I have some, I bought some of this paint, high heat paint. I'm going to paint the whole thing inside and then I'm going to put the screen on. Okay, what I did so far, I just painted the back and the inside edges. I wanted to leave this top. Because I'm going to put the screen on top and I wanted to make sure that tape sticks to the screen and to this edge here. So I just did the back for now then when I get the screen on I'll shoot another coat around the edges. Okay what I'm doing now I'm going to put this, I put one side of this screen on and I just taped it on the corner and then I pulled it tight and put random areas of foil tape pulling it very tight okay I got one side and one top taped all the way and what I did was I just the other two sides I just pulled it tight and then ran a utility knife down the center of the screen to cut the screen off so I'm going to tape that I'm going to pull that tight as I go with small pieces and then completely tape the whole top okay I got that done the top the screen seems to be on there nice and tight I got it taped on with the tape all the way around. Now, what I'm going to do is put my three inch sides on. So what we have right now so far is we have an inch, an inch space between the back and the screen. Seems like it's working pretty good so far. Okay, we got the tops, the three inch sides, and the three inch tops and bottoms all on now. I just have them temporarily taped now. What I'm going to do is put another piece of tape from here to here just to hold them sides on good. I'm going to cover all the edges with tape. There's some exposed edges on the back too. So I'm going to do that. Run tape there. And then, after I get all that done, take it back out in the garage and I'll shoot this silver black right around there. We'll do that and then we'll come back and put the glazing on. Okay, there's a picture of it all done, except for the glazing. I got 
got the sides painted them. Everything's sealed up airtight. All the edges are sealed. There's the back of it. Sealed that all up. Let's put the glazing on. Okay, there it is. I cut a small hole in the top and a small hole in the bottom. I cut the hole the same size as I have a little CPU blower that I can put in. But I'm hoping that just the natural cool air come in the bottom. I got the glazing on as you can see. I just used the same tape. Right here. And I put it down, try to get it nice and straight so that'll seal up everything around the whole perimeter of the panel. But there it is. Now I'm going to stick it in the window and see what happens. Okay, I got it in the window. Fits pretty good. Sets right on this ledge here. I've been doing some readings. It's like it was 70 about 71 to 72 degrees pretty much everywhere so we'll see see if it goes up any up here at the top it's already a little I don't know if you can see this but seventy. That ain't coming in. It's like 86 degrees already. The sun's already heating that up because it was 72 degrees up here at the top. So it's already heating up. We'll see what happens. I just put it in about oh, a couple minutes ago. The room temperature in here is about 71 degrees. Here's a shot from the outside. I don't know if you can really see it, but it blends right in with the window. You can't even hardly see it. It's about 1 o'clock. And the sun is shining directly at it. Okay. Hope you can see it, but there's I hung a taped a piece of toilet paper. And the hot air is blowing out of the top. You can see that it's blown by the toilet paper. I'll put my hand over the hole on the bottom. Uh, see how it's blowing it? I can't seal it completely off, but I'll take it off, put it on. Take it off, put it on. I can definitely feel the the cold air flowing in right here. It's nice and cool down here. So it's working. I put a thermometer kind of out so it catches the air. The room temperature in here was 72 degrees. Now, if I look at this thermometer, we're at. God. I don't know if you can see that or not, but the temperature is 90 degrees. So it's definitely working. I have a fun little project. I don't see any problems with anything. If you want to build this. Or if you have any other ideas, thanks for watching. I think I'll do another video and hook up a, a small fan and a battery and what's called a, a snap switch. It'll go on and off at certain temperatures, but we'll do that on video two of this. Thanks for watching.